Good day, I'm your host, VoiceOver Pete. At the cutting edge facility of Toyota TRD Performance Center, powered by iBike Power, and with us today is our special guest, Chris Atkus. So wow, Chris, I love coming here, love meeting you guys, love what Toyota is, is doing. How long have you been here at TRD? Yeah, you know, I started in, uh, with Toyota here, I don't know, about 2016. Uh, you know, honestly, right before I won the biggest race of my career, the Snowball Derby. Um, and, you know, basically from then, uh, you know, it's been a slow progression from the Super Late Models, now then to ARCA, and, and now the Truck Series. So, uh, you know, it's been a lot of fun, and, you know, TRD has been really important in uh, my development. So, you've seen some great changes then, it sounds like, here at TRD. And I look at this gaming facility, and I think to myself, wow, what does this do for you racers to have a facility like this here? Yeah, you know, it, it provides a you know a relaxing element to it. You know, you're always really focused on the whole racing aspect, and uh, you know, come here with your buddies and your teammates, and you just kind of relax and just have fun. And you know, it's still competitive because you know we all want to beat each other, whether it's on a racetrack or in a video game. So, uh, you know, it's just a lot of fun to be here. All this tech, all this investment. What are your expectations of a facility like this? Oh, you know, this, this place is awesome. Uh, you know, it's definitely more than we could have expected for sure. Um, you know, because we first started out in like a storage facility working out, and then, uh, you know, this turned into like a huge place where you know, we have all this good stuff and you know, we can work out here and stuff like that. It's just really, it's, it's cool to be just such a part of a great facility like this. So, after several years under your belt here, how much travel do they have you do? Yeah, you know, we travel, I don't know, about. Like this year, I have 27 races, and you know, there's really none that's you know close. To be honest, you know they're all within the three to 20 hours away. Uh, you know it's it's kind of fun to be able to you know travel around the world and, and do what you love. To be honest, it's, uh, it's I've always loved racing, and you know it's the same thing with TRD. How long have you been racing? I uh, honestly like compared to others, I got a later start. Um, you know it's kind of crazy. I started at 10, but you know some of these guys started at four years old. And you know, I started in Bandoleros when I was 10 years old in 2011, and, and it's been a slow progression from the Bandoleros to Legend Cars and Late Models, Arca, and Trucks. So, uh, you know, I, I think I have a pretty solid career so far, and you know, hopefully, it just keeps coming up. That's what we all want. So, okay, you're obviously very committed, disciplined, busy into this. In your free time, what do you do? Uh, you know, it's it, we always have fun. Uh, you know, that's the biggest thing is. You know, because you're so stressed out and you're really working hard at the racetrack, it's, it's cool to be able to come home and, you know, have fun. So, you know, me and my buddies like to either I race or, or play video games on uh, multiple different things. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm definitely a little bit of a video gamer. You know, I'm not that great, but we have fun doing it. Other than I race in some of those games, is there any other type of video games that, that you do, you like to do? Well, you know, I got into Fortnite a little bit with me and my buddy Harrison. Uh, play once in a while. We're not good at all, but <laughs> we're uh, we're really good at the OG Call of Duty games. Like, you know, that's kind of what we grew up on, and you know, Modern Warfare 2, Black Ops, Black Ops 2. I mean, those were our favorites, and you know, we still play them to this day. Uh, you know, I think that's the most fun for us to go back to uh, the old days, I guess you could say. Not that long ago, but you know, it's still a lot of fun to go back and you know, play games that were almost 10 years ago now. I was able to, to sit into the uh, simulator, and you may want to check my stats and try to break them. So um, it, I look at them, and they, they look amazing. But how do you compare the simulator to what's it like to really sit on the track behind the wheel of a car? Yeah, you know, it's a little bit different. Just the aspect, you really can't feel the car through your body like you do in a race car. So you go down in the corner, and your body really takes a lot of lateral load, and uh, you, know, you really can't get that the just sitting there. Yeah. Right. So, I mean, you could still, you know, feel a lot through the steering wheel, and it helps a lot as far as, you know, going to the racetrack and knowing where everything is, but in the same aspect, you're not going to get the exact same feeling just because it's not an actual race car. So, you've been here several years, you said. What's the average age of the development team here? Um, I don't know. Uh, you know, I have a couple buddies that are here that we're all the same age, and we're all teammates, but in the same aspect, there's a lot of people that are younger than us, older than us. It's, it's really... It's all over the board, really. Um, you know, we have 20-year-olds, high 20s, and we have you know, 13-year-olds that are in the program. So you know, there's uh, it's kind of all over the board there, and it's uh, it's a lot of fun to be a part of it. So fast forward 10 years, you look back now at this facility, and what's it look like in 10 years? What do you think this thing's going to grow to? 
man, I don't know. I mean, this place has come so far in a year that uh, you really don't you don't know what's next. Uh, like I said, we were just sort we were working out in the storage facility there for a while, and then, you know, a few months later, this place popped up, and you know, it's been it's been cool to be able to go through and you know call ourselves the OGs, I guess you could say, from the storage facility. Um, but you know, I, I really it's, it's hard to tell. You know, Toyota does a great job of developing us, and you know, it's the same thing with developing this facility. Uh, you know, it's, it's been great to be a part of. Wow. Well, I definitely can see the uh, the winning circle for you grabbing that epic victory royale. So I'm going to keep my eye on you. I expect great things, Chris. Thanks for your time. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. you. Bet.